comparing Portland Leather Goods Mini Crossbody Tote versus Go Forth Goods Mini Avery. So if you're interested in seeing what's different about these two bags, stay tuned. Hello, my name is Andrea. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. And thank you for joining me in the Babe Cape table. And uh, if you like this video, give me a thumbs up. Anyway, let's get to the subject. So I finally have the Portland Leather Goods Mini Crossbody Tote in the color Margot versus the Go Forth Goods Mini Avery. And they're both the same size, but completely different how they put their bags together. And their hardware is different. And let's get into the some of the differences right up front. This one has a pocket. This one is bison leather. This one is a smooth leather. I believe it's calf cow leather. I'll put it here if I'm wrong. <laughs> the Go Forth Goods is bison leather, so I'm not even comparing leathers at this time because bison leather is different than cow leather. The texture, I mean, just we're not talking about the leather, we're talking about the details. And this one costs more and it you have choices that you can upgrade, but I just went with the basic mini Avery in cobalt blue. And this one is the basic one which came with the snap closure. So first up, this one comes with this nice pocket up front with some very nice contrasting stitching. So your phone can go in there, that's a plus. I think you have to add on certain features and that of course is additional costs and the they use little snap that looks like copper on these and then a different color on the middle hardware and then the the where the strap attaches it's a different color portland uses kind of like a I don't know if it's brushed nickel or something like that, but they all match the same hardware. This one does not. Go forth goods. Let's turn it to the side. <clears throat> Go forth goods has the additional rivets, I think, for reinforcement because it is a thick uh, strap that you get with that. And then theirs is one button that's where their strap is attached by one rivet versus the two. And the seam is tucked in on Go Forth Goods, but it is out on Portland Leather Goods. So let's turn it around to the back side. And you have two buttons here, and that is for your snap closure on Portland Leather Goods. And over here, this is the same copper detail button type rivets. I don't know. It looks like a snap almost <laughs> rivet. And so they have a lot of reinforcement on Go Forth Goods. Portland uses more of sewing and they stitch their handles on. Which is going to last longer? I don't know. <laughs> Because I don't wear mine all the time. But I feel like the this one has more reinforcement for more weight to be carried in this bag. The Go Forth Goods. So let's talk about the bottom. Well, let's talk about the handles. The handles. This Go Forth Goods is a very thick leather. But... Portland Leather Goods is very nice handle as well, but maybe not as thick of top handles. 
And then let's go to the bottom of the bags carefully. <laughs> and again, so Go Forth Goods used one single piece, I believe. That's how they, you know, there's no multiple pieces like this one. I feel like there's they're stitched on the side, so it's one whole hide of bison. This one I'm not sure, but they do have this seam, you know, at the bottom. There's the bottoms comparatively. And let's get into the straps. So Portland has a crossbody strap with, this looks like a brushed gold brass, maybe hardware, with a different kind of clip like that. Works good. Has adjustments. Has a keeper for the extra strap. Very good. And then we have Go Forth Goods. And their straps are, I think, made for, again, maybe more weight and more comfortability with this extra padding on the strap. It has a giant keeper here that's not movable. So, But this is some very thick, firm strap here. And here again is their hardware that's different than the than that right there. Sometimes I don't like that they use different coloring f <laughs> for their rivets and their straps and everything, but this is just the normal clasp. But very comfortable to carry. You can tell the difference in the straps. <laughs> So much different than Portland and Go Forth Goods. And this one has the raw leather underbelly. And I'm not sure if this is one piece or if they have two pieces. I'm not sure. But the thickness is a little different. <clears throat> now let's go on to the inside of the bags. And this is what Portland leather looks like. There's the stitching down below the, that they sewed together with the straps being on the inside. But they're about, what, two inches from the top of the bag to the strap. <clears throat> and then on this one, you see, uh, I did get this Go Forth Goods little keychain that came with it. The straps are up at the top with the rivets on both sides very secure very thick um, again bison leather is different than cow leather it's thicker there's this and this one comes with a pocket and no I didn't pay extra for the pocket it just is what it is and then there's where the leather is attached on the sides and down below and the it's raw leather just like Portland leather goods. This closure is different, but it it is not hard to change. Unlike some Dooney and Burke bags, this is really easy to pop in. Very easy. And then this one's just the snap closure. Again, it's a good snap. Very good closure. Again, you can, you know, get different upgrades, but this These one are... is, again, the mini crossbody and this is the mini avery portland leather goods go forth goods so there are significant differences still but we're just talking about hardware how they close the seams uh you know the straps so those are the differences they're both probably having black friday sales this one seems to be a little less structured uh, than this one's more of a smooth, firm leather. This one is a little soft and malleable, and you can see all their lines. It's a beautiful bag, and this is a beautiful bag. <laughs> so there are the differences that I have noticed, and I really do love both of them. Like, these two colors together are my favorite colors, so <laughs> uh, that's... Uh, why I picked the colors that I did and I really uh, enjoy both bags for different reasons so this one is going to be a higher price the go forth goods this one is not so 
there is a price difference between the two. But again, this is bison leather. This is, I believe, calf leather. So that is the main differences that I have noticed. And uh, let me know down below, do you have a preference? Because I know I did a comparison before of this bag and a Lola. But I wanted to do one with the basically the same measurements, but they all have different features. So do you so, prefer one over the other, or do you just love both of them? Because I, I think the more I have experienced Portland leather goods, I I like both of them. They're obviously made different, and that's okay, too, because that means they're unique to the companies. So, anyway, thank you for watching my video and subscribing if you haven't already, and give me a thumbs up if you like this comparison, and if you have any questions about either one of these bags, let me know down below. And uh, do you have a preference? Because I'm not sure I do anymore. <laughs> uh, so anyway, I thank you all for subscribing, liking, and hit the bell if you don't want to miss my future videos. But until next time, I'll talk to you soon and I'll leave a video up here for you to watch next. Bye!